Hey, hello friends and welcome to this new Flutter tutorial. In this, we're gonna be taking a look at adding this uh, fluid navigation bar in Flutter, bottom navigation bar. So this is really having a cool looking animation uh, when we shift from one tab to an another. So uh, if we try to achieve this from scratch, it's completely possible. If someone has made it, so can we. Um, but instead of making it from scratch, we're gonna use a package called curved navigation bar in Flutter, uh, that is this one, Curved Navigation Bar, and it's currently at the version 0.3.1 um, as I'm making this tutorial, and here is uh, an easy to use code here which you can add to your Flutter app. So I'm just gonna go to my Flutter project that I've created for this tutorial, that is called Flutter App, and uh, I have added this package, the Curved Navigation Bar, inside the popspec.yaml file. Uh, with the name curved navigation bar. I haven't mentioned the um, the version number here. It just goes through it. So curved navigation bar. And uh, in the main dot dart file, I have this material app that is a stateful widget. This is the default app that is given to you. I have just altered it a little bit. I have added the scaffold because for using the curved navigation bar, you need to add a scaffold to your activity uh, so that you get the uh, property of the bottom navigation bar. Okay, so uh, I have this app bar here inside the scaffold. I have added the app bar uh, with the background color of white and a title, as you can see here. And oh, let me just refresh the page. It's the previous app. Okay, so here is the navigation bar with the Flutter app title and the color of black. And the body is having a container with the height and width of uh, the complete page, height and width. Uh, using the media query and a simple column. You can just add a simple text here, but uh, yeah, it's just the default app. So, uh, what we need to do now is uh, once we have added the uh, package in the pubspec.yml file, uh, what we need to do now is add the property to the uh, scaffold, that is the bottom navigation bar that is given to you by Flutter itself uh, using, the, using the material dot dart. So, uh, so once you have added this curved navigation bar package here, now what we can do is we can add curved navigation bar here. And as soon as I click it here, uh, the curved navigation bar is imported up in the main.dart file. You can see that the curved navigation bar slash curved navigation bar dot dart. So I come back here. So the the two necessary properties that you need to pass to this curved navigation bar in order for it to work is uh, uh, an array of items uh, with each of them of type widget. So I'm going to pass some widgets to it right now. Let me just pass two icons for it in the starting. We'll pass three. Uh, I'll pass an icon uh, that uh, has the icons. So uh, icons dot verified user for one. I'll give it a size of 20 and a color of colors dot black for now. Okay, I'll just copy this code. I'll just add a comma, copy this code and add two more icons. I'll change that to, uh, I'll change the second one to add and the third one to list. Okay. So uh, other than the items array, what we need to do, uh, what we need to add to this curved navigation bar is the on tap property. Okay, so okay, the curved navigation bar is here. I need to add the on tap property. So what on tap property does is it gives us a, in, it gives us an index value for which we can map certain actions that we need to do. For example, I'll just add a function here which takes in an index and we perform a body here. Right now, we don't have anything to work for. Uh, I'll just pass in a message of debug print uh, current index is and we'll pass in the index that is given to you in the arguments. So uh, these are the two necessary things that you uh, have to pass to curve navigation bar to have it working or else there is no function of it. So I'll just run this app again. And uh, voila, you can see that uh, the navigation bar is added. So by default, as you can see that the animation is quite slow. It's, it's really slow. And uh, all the three buttons that you just added for the verified user, the add and the list 
are here we have uh, uh, these circular backgrounds with each icon and uh, we have a color of white for the uh, curved navigation bar and a background color of uh, blue okay so uh, and as soon as we click the buttons let me go back uh, down to this run menu you can see that uh, when I click on the button we get a log here uh, in the run mod, uh, run tab okay so what we need to do now is we want to match the background color with the color of the container as I've passed here uh, up in the container in the body so the property that, that uh, lets you change the color of uh, the bottom navigation bar is actually there are three properties so one is the color the other one is uh, background color and the third one is uh, button background color so the color itself change, changes the color of uh, this bottom navigation bar that is this white portion okay so uh, you can see that if I put a color here colors dot brown and uh, I pass in the background color of colors dot orange and uh, button background color of colors dot green so this is not really a good matching but I'll just show it to you yeah you can see that the color property changes the color the front color of the bottom navigation bar the background color changes the background color that is shown to you by this curve uh, here in the bottom navigation bar and the uh, button background color changes the material color of the icon icons background basically so what we need to do now is uh, to make it more appealing we'll set the color property to white as we have the action bar up here uh, we'll change that to white and for the background color I'll change that to deep orange as we have of the container deep orange and for the button background color I'll change that to white okay so I'll run that again uh, yeah it's more more suitable <laughs> as you can say and one thing more that uh, the height of the bottom navigation bar is too much for my liking so there there comes another property that is the height property of the curved navigation bar so for the height I'll pass in 50 I think that will be fine because the icon uh, I have given 20 to the icon size and the height of 50 is gonna be enough uh, so I'll just run the app and yeah yeah it's all fine it's it's looking cool and you can add more icons to it I'll just add three for now or I'll just go with the five no, no issues I'll just add two more I'll name it uh, favorite and for the fifth icon I'll name that to be exit to app that shows us the logout icon there's uh, yeah so uh, when I run the app again yeah you can see that oh I need to restart the app there are some issues most of the times but yeah okay so the app is working again and uh, now we have to look into the animation of it of this so when I click on the icon it takes a lot of time to uh, change the icon here so um, the curb navigation bar navigation bar gives us with two properties regarding the animation that is the animation duration we can pass in a duration here uh, with the milliseconds minutes or whatever you like I'll just pass in 200 milliseconds and an animation curve so for the animation curve I'm gonna add uh, so the animation curve when you take a hint of it animation curve it takes in a curve object okay sorry it takes in curve so uh, for the animation curve I'll add curves curves dot okay well we're gonna use this bounce in and out let's try this one I'll just restart the app and okay yeah it's looking good bounce in and out and the duration is quite nice too when I click it it just shifts yeah, it sh shifts in a really cool way so yeah this is fine so right now what we can do is we have added color to the bottom navigation bar we have added items we have added um, animation duration and animation curve and on tap method that uh, gives you the current index of the 
curve navigation bar which you can store uh, in the state of the widget and then further change the layouts based on this uh, on tab method so uh, other than this there there is one more thing that you can do with the curve navigation bar uh, that is you can have a pre-selected uh, bottom um, bottom navigation bar icon that is uh, what if you want to have uh, this center button uh, selected by default when the person runs your app the first time so uh, for that we have that uh, we have an index property sorry we have this index property here so I'll just pass in two here for the third icon zero one two three and four for the five items so I'll just pass in two and when I run the app again you can see that the center icon is selected by default okay so um, yeah this is the simplest way of adding this curved navigation bar uh, although you can make it from scratch but um, this is not really I, I don't really recommend moreover this package is quite light to uh, make your app bulky so it's it's quite a simple package and it helps you a lot with the uh, properties um, okay so moreover what you can do is you can go into the curved navigation bar if you want to know the details of it it's completely accessible it's quite a simple package so you don't really have much here so uh, you can check out all the properties for example uh, when we click on the icon okay I need to close this one you can see that all the properties here curved navigation bar state and in the state um, you can see that we have this material icon here which takes in the icon and sets the background color and everything button background color the property that you uh, applied to the widget itself the color property and material type of circle uh, you can change the material type basically uh, so that you change the icon shape here so yeah this is a simple widget if you want to customize it further you can check this code out and add it to your own widget and do all kinds of stuff here so uh, yeah, I think this tutorial will help you a lot. If you learn anything, do, uh, do not forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you like my tutorial. Uh, I hope you learned a lot and uh, if you have any more suggestions for tutorials, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's okay for now. See you guys later. Peace.